This screencast covers the automatic model search. This is if you don't know which model to use. Sedman can fit your data to various models. Before you start, there are various options in the Tools menu. The Modeling Data tab is if you select No Initial Guessing or Circular Guessing. You can state the maximum number of evaluations. The larger this number, the more accurate the results will be, but the longer it will take. For the convergence of parameter, the smaller the number, the more accurate the results will be, but the longer it will take. If you decide to use genetic logarithm for the initial guessing, you can choose the population size and the number of, and the number of generations here. Before the analysis menu comes live, you must have data in the analysis section. So you can uh, open up data or open up a project here. You now choose analysis and modeling. And now you can go to search for a model. You can decide to search models in many in all of the different categories or you can just choose some. If you click and hold the control key on the keyboard, it will let you select various categories. For this I'm just going to choose a battery and supercapacitors. If you've selected several categories, you can click here to remove duplicate models in the categories. For the parameters, you can either choose a free to be positive, zero or negative. Uh, negative are for artificial values. I'm going to choose free but must stay positive. For the initial guessing of the parameter values, you can tell it which method to use. The default is simple circular. If you click none, the search starts from the default parameter values in each model. Simple circular is a default. It assumes that the Nyquist plots contain circular shapes. Genetic logarithm puts random value matrix as the initial values and tries to find the proper initial value. It takes longer, but you can use it if other methods fail to find a proper model. You can select which data sequence to use and which weighting factor modulus to data is the default. Bisquare will take longer but is more accurate. When you're ready to start, you can click uh, st start the searching process. So the software is trying to fit a model to the raw data. You can see the tracing process in the Nyquist plot and the Bode plot. It can take a while. If the progress bar is working, you know that the software is still running. You can stop at any time if you want. You can see that the software is going through each model and finding the chi-square value. When the analysis is finished, the models have been arranged with chi-square, so nearest to the top are the best fitting models. A tick mark is shown if the result is successful. This cross tag is shown if there is a singular matrix error and that error will be described down here in the log. If the by square option was not selected when you were doing the analysis, you can select it now. You choose the model and click by square on and then you can either click this minimize one round button or minimize ten round button and it will run that one again. So the software has found these values and these errors for these components of the model. If you want to change them, for example, you can manually change this resistor to 200 and by removing the tick, you're fixing this value. You can now click to minimize 10 rounds and it will recalculate using this fixed value here and found new values. If you want to put it back to the original uh, 100, you can just make all parameters free again so that they're all ticked as free. Click this button again and it will do the analysis again and find the original values. You can research the module again, this time in the chi-square order by clicking start 
generally you choose no initial guessing for this reanalysis and it will run through all of the models again once it's finished this is displaying the Bode plot this residual plot shows the difference between the raw data and the model this shows the picture of the model you can uh, right click this and export the image to the clipboard if you right click here you can copy the model values to the clipboard once you're happy with that you should click select to select this model click OK 